everybody, it's Derek Comartin from CodeOpinion.com, and this is part two in our Fat Controller CQRS diet where we're going to rewrite a simple command. So if you haven't already, I recommend checking out part one of this series, which is I rewrote a simple query, which was the home controller's index action using the mediator library. Uh, in this example, we're going to be using the shopping cart controller's add to cart method, and we're going to rewrite that as well. All right, so I'm going to create a new folder in our features folder called, uh, let's call this one shopping cart. And then we're going to add a new class in here, our file for our shopping cart, our add to cart feature. So we'll call this add to cart. All right, so this is where we're going to start placing and moving code from our controller to this file. All right, so let's go ahead and create our message, which is going to be our request. So I'm going to jump back to the shopping cart controller and just take a look at some of the stuff that I need to extract. The primary ones are going to be I'm going to need the album ID that we're going to be adding to our shopping cart, but I also need the shopping cart ID, which really is happening behind the scenes over here from the HTTP context. So let's just jump back over to our add to cart. And because we were using um, cancellation tokens, Mediator has a way to handle those as well. So we're going to create a cancelable async request. And let's then add our handler here. So we'll add our request handler, which is going to be add to cart. And it has to have a return type, which in mediator is just unit. So let's implement our missing task. All right, so that's step one of just having our basic message and handler, and let's start filling these out. All right, so like I said, we need a few pieces of information that we're going to send from our controller in this add to cart message. So let's create a constructor that's going to have the cart ID as well as the album ID that we want to add to our cart. So let's create some public properties here. And I want to get rid of the setters, so that's read only. And now let's jump over to the handler. So what are we going to need? We're going to need another constructor that's going to need the database context. So we can add the music store context. as well as, I believe this had some logging in it as well from here, so that was this iLogger. So let's add that. Alrighty. So we have our dependencies. Basically we should be able to, for the most part, grab most of the code that was in our add to cart except for the redirect because that's MVC related. We don't concern ourselves with that. So let's take this piece of code. And let's move this over here now. So we can update some of this with our DB context. So this is interesting though because we don't have the HTTP context anymore. Um, so what we really need to do is look at the shopping cart to see what other kind of options we have and how we're going to populate this cart ID. But if we take a look at shopping cart, we can specify the shopping cart ID in one of these overloads. So we can use our message dot cart ID. And for our album ID, we also added that to our message. So there's our album ID. And we just got to fix this up. So now that we're saving it correctly, I'm also passing the uh, cancellation token. Uh, and I could probably do that for async here as well, because it will take um, the singular async will take the cancellation token. 
So I can add that in. Um, and we need to return a unit. So there we go. So this is looking good. Basically, uh, we have our message, which is our request, add to cart, and we pretty much move that code over here. So basically, now we need to go back into our shopping cart controller and generate this add to cart message and pass it along to the mediator. All right, so what we need to do now is let's create our new add to cart message. And we need to pass it the card ID, which we don't really know what that is yet, and the album ID, which we are getting from the parameter in the add to cart method from MVC. So how do we get the card ID? Well, if we probably look at um, other places this was being used at um, in our get cart, uh, we can see that it was using it from the context and if you pass get card ID with a context it will give us a card ID so let's just go ahead and use that because that's the whole point of this is we basically want to be using our controller for specific MVC related dependencies and take everything else out that isn't dependent on MVC and move that to our handler so Let's add our card ID here. And this looks like this was private, so let's put that public for now. And now we have our card ID, our add to cart message. So now what we can do is invoke mediator which we don't actually have yet, so let's add it to our constructor. We can call send async of our add to cart. And we can actually pass a request aborted, which is a cancellation token. And that's pretty much it for the controller itself now to invoke uh, our handler. So let's add a couple breakpoints here and give this a run. So we'll put one in our controller action, then we'll jump over to our handler, and let's put one in here. Start this up. All right, so let's go to click Add to Cart, which this should break. On our controller action, it is. So let's continue, which should now break in our handler, which it is. So we can see we can step through this, adding to our cart. Just continue. And we can see everything worked as expected. So that's it. That's how you can rewrite a simple command using the mediator library in our Fat Controller CQRS Diet series. More to come, and if you enjoyed these videos, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.